Okay, it is uh, 6 7 on a Saturday night, and um, this is leftover dinner here. Um, we went out and got gyros and Rubens and fries for dinner, but Joe, Saya, and I are getting ready to um, make kishka, and we're going to show you how we do that. Um, I got carrots peeled, but I have to cut them up. Joe Sai is getting the brisket. Now, if you don't have leftover brisket, instead of buying a brisket and cooking a brisket for a meal, which, I mean, you can, you can also buy these. Th this is over at Walmart. Um, you gotta go where the, where's it at? The deli? Over, yeah, by the uh, deli. Over by the deli. And you can get beef brisket. It's already cooked. And so, that's what we're going to use that. Um, we need some onions. I'm going to get those cleaned up. We need some cloves of garlic. Um, Joe's measured out the matzo meal. I've got um, these carrots to put away. i got the other carrots in the sink washed. We need olive oil. We're going to need some paprika, some pepper, some salt. And um, we're going to get going with this. So Joe's just going to just cube this up a little bit because everything is going to go into the food processor. And we only need two cups. So we're probably not going to be using all of that, just part of it. And go ahead and if you have any fat on it or whatever, just go ahead and just leave it there. Because it's all going to get ground up. It's all going to work together. Because really what this is, it's almost like a sausage that you're making. Um, and there's a vegetarian way of doing this. The only thing that's different in the recipe, instead of using the brisket, you're just going to add um, a couple stalks of celery uh, with the carrots and the onions and then all the rest of the ingredients. So this is the non-vegetarian way. And um, as soon as he gets this taken care of, I'm going to get all the cloves of garlic cleaned up. Okay, so we have um, two cups of the brisket, and we got two to two and a half cups of matzo meal, four um, medium carrots that have been peeled and chopped up, two large onions chopped up, and six cloves of garlic. Then we're going to need, Joe's got it measured out, one teaspoon of paprika. We're going to need two teaspoons of salt and half of a cup of EVO. So all of this is going to go into the food processor. We need four of those. Right, we just put the meat in there. All the ingredients have been put in there now, except for the matzo meal. We're just mixing everything up really good. So we put the matzo meal in. starting to go slowly. We'll probably have to open it. It'll start slowing up and we're going to have to take it out and mix it by hand. Let me get you a spatula. Yeah. Let me get that. Hold up. There we go. So after you mix it, it should be just like this, like as, as if you were making cookies or dough. It should be like that, you know, like a real soft Play-Doh. And um, we decided we're going to put some more of the beef brisket in here. So Joe's getting ready to so If you're wondering what is kishka, it's, um, it's like a sausage, if you will. And you can use it um, in various um, Jewish cooking, like you could do chicken roll-ups with it, take like um, chicken cutlets, bread them, and then you put some kishka in the middle and you roll it up and then you can bake them in the oven. Um, you can use it in cholent. You could even just take it and cut it and fry it on both sides and eat it that way. I mean, you can do various things with it. You can make a sandwich with it, it all kinds of things. Um, so what we're going to do after Joe gets all the meat ground up, because uh, we want more meat flavor in there, um, we're going to divide this up into two logs. 
and then you wrap them in parchment paper and foil and then we bake them for one hour at 350 and really what we use our kishka for I mean we could slice it and eat it but um, it's used for cholent which we eat that so um, anyway we can, like I said we can't find cholent I mean we can't find kishka close to where we are there's a lot of Jewish people actually around where we are but we're in metro Philly area but we're a little bit out from the city so you can't get to the stores that would sell this stuff unless you really drive out there to them so um we just make it ourselves so anyway joe's gonna get the rest of that meat all ground up so that's then the extra meat and then joe's just gonna mix it up so this is what we're gonna do we're gonna get logs so you just divide your dough and you're just gonna do like if you were making a meatloaf or some sort of cookies that you need like a, a log or a loaf or whatever so just gonna go like this and then we're gonna wrap them in parchment then in foil stick them on a cookie sheet and bake them for one hour okay here's the kishka and it's been out of the oven for a while it baked for an hour it's still kind of warm but I will open it up and show it to you you can really smell it. It smells really, really good. But this, this is what it's like. And so now I'm going to let these cool down a little bit. And um, I'll cut a piece for you so you can see it. I'm going to, yeah, let them cool down. Then I'm going to rewrap them in parchment. Put them in some Ziploc freezer bags and get them in the freezer. Okay, so here, let me just cut end piece I'll cut another piece too and when I go to use this especially like when I make cholent um, I'll pull this out of the freezer and I'll show you um, what it's like going in into that stew so anyway there it is it's like um, it's like um, a stuffing slash sausage sort of uh, thing and like I said you can even just take the slices slice it up um, you can fry it on both sides you can make a sandwich out of it you know you can um, do like chicken roll-ups all sorts of things so anyway thanks for spending time with me and Josiah while we made kishka and I'll see you in the next video bye bye